Welcome to the Sekonic C7000 SpectroMaster Quick Start video series. Lighting solutions and applications have never been in greater demand as they are today. With the popularity of these new light sources such as advanced LED and organic electroluminescence, the need to understand, manage, and control these light sources is essential. To assist and manage these light sources, Sekonic Corporation, a leader for over six decades, is proud to provide the advanced and precise lighting control of the Sekonic SpectroMaster C7000. The new SpectroMaster C7000 is a portable handheld spectrometer designed especially for industrial use. Utilizing Sekonic's CMOS linear image sensor design and software, the C7000 can measure every light source, LED, HMI, fluorescent, natural light, and even electronic flash spectrum with remarkable precision and data feedback. In this video that follows, we'll help you set up your spectrometer, guide you through the basics of color measurement, and even show you a few advanced features and functions. Let's get started. In this first video, we'll illustrate how to get your C7000 up and running and give you a brief overview of its basic functions. Let's take a quick tour of the Sekonic C7000. With its user-friendly design, the C7000 SpectraMaster has a swivel measuring head that rotates 270 degrees and incorporates a CMOS linear sensor. In addition, the light receptor includes a light selection ring that provides settings for dark calibration without a cap, low ambient flash range, and high flash range. Moving down the meter, you'll notice the large 4.3 inch LCD color touch screen, which makes it a breeze to navigate through all major functions. Just below the LCD screen, you'll notice the menu button. This button always returns you to the display mode selection screen. From the LCD screen, let's move to the power button located on the left side of the meter which turns the meter on or off. Directly below the power button is the memory button. The memory button, when pressed in the proper mode, stores up to 999 measured values for recall and review later. On the opposite side of the meter is the measure button, which when pressed takes the current measurement of the light source. Located on the bottom of the meter are two hidden connectors. The first is the PC flash terminal for use with electronic studio strobes. The second connector is a mini B USB port for connection to a computer for firmware updates and application software. On the back side of the C7000 is a convenient quarter 20 threaded socket to attach various mounting solutions. Below the mounting socket is the battery compartment which accommodates the batteries. First, let's install the batteries. Simply slide the battery door lock in the direction of the arrow and lift the battery cover. Then, install the batteries. The C7000 takes two AA batteries. Before powering on the C7000, rotate the light selection ring so that it is aligned with the dark calibration position. Press and hold the power button until the screen displays the Sekonic logo startup screen followed by the dark calibration in progress bar. The spectrometer is ready to use when the display mode selection screen is displayed. Before you start measuring with the C7000, it's very important to turn the light selector ring to either low or high ambient flash range. For most applications, we can select low range. Let's take a quick tour of the status bar first. The status bar remains nested on the top area of most screens. It provides consistent status feedback of battery capacity, memory count, preset selections, field of view, temperature fluctuation warning, light selector ring position, and key lock status. Now let's take a look at the display mode selections. There are nine different icons you can choose. Text, Spectrum, Spectrum Comparison, CRI, CIE1931, CIE1931 Comparison, 
CIE 1976, CIE 1976 comparison, and setting. Let's first select your desired display mode by touching one of the display mode icons on the screen. Let's start with the text icon first. After touching the text icon, the C7000 displays the measuring screen. For your reference, touch-enabled icons always have a blue illuminated line below the icon. If an icon doesn't have the blue illuminated line, it is touch disabled. To change the measuring mode, touch the measuring mode icon in the upper left hand corner. On this screen, you can select ambient mode, cordless flash mode, and cord PC flash mode. Let's select ambient mode first. Touch the OK button and the screen will return to the measuring screen. To the right of the measuring mode icon is the exposure time button. Touching this button brings you to the exposure time selection screen. Here you can select one of the following choices. Auto, 0.1 second, or 1.0 seconds. Let's select Auto. Touch the OK button and the screen will return to the measuring screen. Let's go back to the measuring mode screen by touching the measuring mode icon. Now let's select either cordless flash mode or cord PC flash mode measurements. Then touch OK. You'll notice the exposure time button changes to the shutter speed button. Touch the shutter speed button brings you to the shutter speed selector. Next, let's check out the various measuring units. For example, the first measuring unit is Lux in the default settings. Lux is an international unit of measurement for illuminance. However, in the US, foot candle is more commonly used. In this case, touch the Lux button and select foot candles from the display item library screen, and then touch the OK button to apply your selection. There are a total of 32 units of measurement to select from for your particular application. Press the measure button to take a reading. Measurements appear in the selected measuring units. Even after measurements, you can change the measuring units. If we touch the text icon or menu button, the screen returns us back to the display mode selection screen. The second icon we'll look at is the spectrum icon. Once we select this mode, the screen displays a spectrum graph along with three measuring units of our choice. By touching the magnifying glass icon, we can view the graph in full screen. The vertical y-axis represents the intensity of the light source. The horizontal x-axis represents the wavelength from 380 to 780 nanometers. By touching the magnifying glass icon, we can view the graph in original format. If we touch the spectrum icon or menu button, the screen returns us back to the display mode selection screen. The third icon, Spectrum Comp, is similar to the spectrum mode with the exception that it provides comparisons of up to three light sources, the current measurement, and two other values recalled from memory. All three values are overlaid for convenient comparison. In addition, correlated color temperature and deviation values are also displayed. By touching the magnifying glass icon, we can view the graph in full screen. By touching the magnifying glass icon, we can view the graph in original format. If we touch the spectrum comp icon or menu button, the screen returns us back to the display mode selection screen. The fourth icon, CRI, Color Rendering Index mode, displays the numeric value from 0 to 100 scale used to rate the accuracy at which a light source will render colors. A CRI of 100 indicates a perfect color rendering. The C7000 offers a selection of CRI values. You can select RA, the average of R1 to R8, or individual values from R1 to R15. In addition, all CRI values are displayed in a convenient bar graph. If we touch the CRI icon or menu button, 
the screen returns us back to the display mode selection screen. The fifth icon, CIE1931 color space, displays the position of the X and Y coordinates on the chromaticity diagram as an X mark with three measurement units of our choice. An arc drawn along the chromaticity diagram represents the widely referenced black body radiator. CIE represents International Commission on Illumination. If we touch the CIE 1931 icon or menu button, the screen returns us back to the display mode selection screen. The sixth icon, CIE 1931 comp, is similar to the CIE 1931 mode with the exception that it provides comparison of up to three light sources, the current measured and the two other values recalled from memory. All three values are marked on the chromaticity diagram for convenient comparison. In addition, X and Y coordinates are also displayed. If we touch the CIE 1931 comp icon or menu button, the screen returns us back to the display mode selection screen. The Sekonic C7000 can also provide CIE 1964 and CIE 1964 comp display mode if your application requires it. The significance between the CIE 1931 and CIE 1964 is the viewing angle that the meter measures. CIE 1931 uses a two degree viewing angle, whereas the CIE 1964 uses a 10 degree viewing angle. In order to set the C7000 for CIE 1964 10 degree viewing angle, it's necessary to set it in the hardware settings screen. The seventh icon, CIE 1976 color space, displays the position of the U and V coordinates on the chromaticity diagram as an X mark defined in 1976 by CIE with three measurement units of our choice. An arc drawn along the chromaticity diagram represents the widely referenced black body radiator. If we touch the CIE 1976 icon or the menu button, the screen returns us back to the display mode selection screen. The eighth icon, CIE 1976 comp, is similar to the CIE 1976 mode with the exception that it provides comparisons of up to three light sources, the current measurement, and two other values recalled from memory. All three values are marked on the chromaticity diagram for convenient comparison. In addition, U and V coordinates are also displayed. If we touch the CIE 1976 comp icon or the menu button, the screen returns us back to the display mode selection screen. The Sekonic C7000 can also provide CIE 1976 and CIE 1976 comparisons based on a 10 degree viewing angle if your application requires it. The significant difference between the two CIE 1976 color space is the view of angle that the meter measures either 2 degree or 10 degree. In order to set the C7000 for CIE 1976 with a 10 degree viewing angle, it's necessary to set it in the hardware setting screen. The final icon is the setting mode. The C7000 provides five custom settings. Units of illuminance, which includes lux, lux seconds, foot candles, and foot candle seconds. It provides spectrum Y axis scales for relevant, auto, or absolute values. It provides an auto power off with selections of 5, 10, and 20 minutes or no power off. It provides a backlight brightness setting for dark, normal, or bright settings. And finally, it has an auto dimmer providing 5, 10, 20, 40, 60 seconds or no dimmer at all. In addition, the custom settings screen also provides a factory reset, which returns all settings back to the original factory settings. By touching the down arrow button, additional settings are available. Edit a preset, which allows you to change the preset name, color temperature setting, delta UV, Y brightness, lambda P, 
CRI value, or PPFD, dark calibration to activate it, and display information. Here you can see the model name, the serial number, the firmware version, or user information about the C7000 you're using. Press close button to go back to display mode selection screen. In all measurement modes, except settings, there's a toolbox. To access the toolbox, touch the toolbox icon. The toolbox provides the following adjustments. Preset selection, memory title, exposure time, shutter speed, and memory management. The Sekonic C7000 also includes the C7000 utility software. The utility software enables you to perform the following. Memory data lets you output the memorized data in either one or five nanometer increments in a convenient CSV file or graphic color chart. Product settings allows you to customize meter settings through convenient drop-down menus. Product information is a quick and easy way to view your meter information. And finally, update meter firmware and utility updates are easily downloadable and applied. To learn more about the C7000, watch the next video in this series.